last time. I'm being attacked, I'll die before knowing the sweet taste of graduation. I prefer the term strategic relocation. Robopocalypse? Hmm. I see you've gotten written permission. Hmm. Actually, I just remembered. I need to do something over there, so I'll just go. You'll use my Bowser to hack into my Dodge League of Dodgers again. I guess this is it. The Deep Woods. I'd rather not go in there, but if we don't have a choice... <laughs> okay, on to the next day. So, how's my big boy doing at school? Dad? How are you even talking through this bot? Oh, I just heard that some other parents were trying out this new feature. Ha! Ah. So, are you already the best player at school? Uh, yeah. Sure. As metastical. <laughs> Not that I'm surprised. My Nino has always been the best of the best. Dad? I have to go now. Sure. Don't let me keep you, champ. See you around. Best of the best, huh? I'll find a way. The next day. Balloony, we've got another match today. Better make sure we're prepared. Hey, did you hear me? Uh, sorry, Otto. I was distracted by this. It's a letter addressed to you. Here. Got a love letter, huh? A letter? What are you doing here? We have a match today. Otto got a letter. A letter? So what are you waiting for? Read it. You can't see like that from... Stuff like that, this from your teammates? Uh, um, fine. <clears throat> Dear Otto, I can't keep you off my mind. I love how your spiky hair makes you look like a true hero. And the way you face those droid bots and save the school was so awesome and cool. I'll be waiting for you on the school's rooftop. Come meet me. Yes? I bought a new bottle of mouthwash just for you, so get ready, stud. Find your secret admirer. <laughs> Otto has a secret admirer. Oh, oh, I bet it's the lunch lady. Quite, you. The lunch lady is like a million years old. Uh, so, so what do we do? Um... I can't focus on today's match with this on my mind. I better go check it out. Uh-huh. For the sake of the match, right? Not because you want some smoochies. You two come along. Yes! I'm, let's go. I'm dying to see this. Alrighty. Oop. Oh, wait, not this way. This way. All right. To the school we go. Oh? How dare you say that pineapple makes a good pizza topping? Like, you have any idea of what's good or not? We know you all put ketchup on your pizza. Let's do a little poll. Losing side must eat the winning side's pizza. Ha! Ah, bring it on. We'll settle this once for all. Um, I definitely, I'm definitely a ketchup kind of guy, Otto. I don't know, Balloony. I definitely go with pineapple. It's delicious. Be it grilled pineapple, pineapple chutney, pineapple juice, or pineapple on a pizza. Great in any way, shape, or form. Did she say grilled? I think you, <laughs> you'll you have to be the tiebreaker, Otto. Uh, I'll side with, I'll go with ketchup. 
See? I knew he was a man of culture as well. Grrr. How dare you turn pineapple down? We have ways of making you change your opinion. Pineapple power! Ah! Alright, ballooning swapping. Said ballooning. There we go. Uh oh. Ooh! Ooh! Super off right now. <laughs> Slice the pineapple. Nice. We showed them. We have to celebrate. Take this. You got pizza slice with ketchup. Hmm. That looks delicious. Thank you so much. Auto. When we eat food that we like, it affects our enhanced. Conversely, if we don't like a certain food, well, its effects are diminished. Pay attention to what each person likes and dislikes. Now that we've got breakfast, Otto, let's go meet your secret admirer. Let's see here. Let's check out the shop real quick. Anything new today? Yeah, there, gang. I my... How may I help you? Browse the catalog. Ooh, lots of stuff today. Okay. Hmm. Increases strength by 25, but reduces agility by 20%. And both. Ooh, no, no. Interesting. No. The jewel's the only thing I really feel like would be any use to me. My new bandana. Hmm. Yeah, we'll, we'll pass for now. Come back anytime. since we're here. Get them free heals. Welcome to the infirmary. There we go. Okay. Alright, let's get a few matches in because I'm feeling rusty right now. Are you using focus abilities effectively? Show me your moves. There we go. 
Stupendous. I love shorts. The school's school uniform is so comfy and easy to wear. Why was I slow on that one? And tell me what kind of clothes you like. Okay. There we go. Are you ready to lose this time? Nope. Let's battle. Fiery Intimidation. Your strength is boosted if you invade the opponent's field by jumping. Interesting. Ah, wait, next time I'm going to have to be even stronger. Lemon juice. Okay, let's complete. Let's get this last one over here, and then we'll go upstairs. I heard you came from Deflatington. Let's go so lame. He'll be easily defeated. Popsicles. Gah! I think I should apply at Deflating to next year. Alrighty, and with that, to the rooftop. Uh oh. What's going on here? You gotta let us pass. We'll be late for class. How could the principal allow this? Oh, come on. Stop whining. As I said before, we're implementing a new system here at the school. This idea came straight from my father's best-selling book, 109 Steps to Building Your Dodgeball Empire. A toll road. Pay me and I'll let you pass. If you don't pay up, prepare to face destruction. We don't have time for this. Miss only for profit. We'll face destruction already. Bring it on. Luckily, Dad has invested in Chester's newest endeavor, and bought me some droids bots. Robots, get them. Ooh. 
Ooh. There we go. Come on. Catch that. Here we go. Get it. Balloonia learned water jets. Your charge throw will now pierce through puns when they're hit. Ooh. Nice. How is this possible? Chester guaranteed these robots would secure on my toll's road profits. You're no match for us. Oh yeah? I guess it's my time now to refresh your memory. Let's go, Mina. Just you and me. Oh, we got this. Oh, counter battle, huh? Hm, never mind. Ooh, ten dollars, nice. This cannot be happening. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Hmm, my dad hasn't taught me how to deal with worker revolts yet. This is just a way of attacking big corporations. Shame on you, Mina. <sighs> yeah, we've asserted our freedom. Let's go, everyone. Uh, I go to the bathroom for just one second and look what happens. To the roof. I think it's this way? Halt! Where do you think you three are going? I was just closing the gate up to the rooftop so class can begin. You're not allowed up there until we finish class today. Move your butts to the classroom right now. I, I guess we'd better go to our class first. We can go meet your secret admirer later. Aw oh, man, I was so hyped for that. Did he actually lock it? Oh, yeah, he did. All right, fine. To class we go then. Too far, there we go. All right. Seems like closing off access to the rooftop really increases the index of class attendance around here. That's how I like it. Now that everyone's here, we can start. I'm going to ask a simple question for you all. What do you think the most important attribute for a dodgeball player? Uh, yes, that'd be in strength. <laughs> right, that's what I like to hear. Strength is the sole attribute that separates rookies from pros. I couldn't even start to describe how important it is for your development. So today, I'd like to give you all a special practice session. A tough practice session. We're going on a little excursion. Please accompany me to the parking lot. Okay. All right, all right. We're not really supposed to be out here per school rules, but for some reason the front gate was always open. Bah, what do you know? What do they know? This is one of the best ways to practice. Let's form two teams. Saneko, Kyabo, and Shoi. You'll be facing Otto's team. Let me just get out of the way here. Let's roll. Battle in the middle of the street. Wait, what?
Wait, what? Whoa! I don't appreciate the car. Uh, I need I need balloony in. We, we gotta get some heals going. This is this is getting ridiculous. We got one out. Okay. On. I gotta get that timing down. Ooh. Right, that one hurt. There we go. Alright. Get these. Got her. Can I get them both? Got him. Okay. Early. Late. lot closer than I care for. Ha ha ha, that was amazing. You kids can take on anything, huh? Dodging those cars, <laughs> crazy stuff. Uh, this outdoor activity certain won't bode well with our parents in the next meeting. All right, that's enough for today. Let's go back to the classroom. You can go ahead, I just have to uh, find some way to close the front gate. Where have my keys this spirit to? The principal's gonna eat me alive if I don't close this front gate again. Alright, I'll be with you in a moment. I wonder where Professor Makako is... It's taking too long to get back. Err, sorry for the delay, everyone. Okay. Today was a lot of fun. I'm giving you all an A+. Well done. You're all dismissed now. I've opened the gate to the rooftop, so you can go there if you want to relax. Go practice your dodgeball and focus on your strength. You hear me? Otto, this is our chance. Let's go meet your secret admirer. Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. Let's go. Oh, yes. And we are going to... Uh heal this time before we start doing other nonsense. How many increases agility? There we go. Ooh, recover 75%, huh? Revive a team member to the full. No. Um, 50. There you go. Banana. There you go. She's all good. 15 points, that'll work. And then auto, auto heal on his own. All right, what do we got up here? Oh no. Uh, hi. I hadn't pegged you as the type of guy who'd send love letters. I bet Vampy had to help him. What are you insignificant specs talking about? 
My love letters are always very discreet. And don't try to hide it, Boris. You sent me this letter. You love me. The only thing I love here is how wrecked this car is. It's such a beautiful work of art, really. And you're not my type. I'll prove it by crushing every bone in your scrawny body. Stay calm. All right, you vandals. I've caught you with your hands in the cookie jar. Some quality time in detention should teach you to, to never wreck the principal's car again. Hey, it was already like this when I got here. Oh, sure, like anyone else could have thrown this car this far up. Just how strong is this guy? You both are coming with me. Hold it right there. What are you doing here? This is campus security business. I heard a loud noise and figured something interesting would be happening. Guess I was right. What proof do you have against these two? You're bringing personal matters into school affairs. I'll have none of it. Ha! Yeah. Boris, are you just going to accept these false accusations like this? Boris, are you going to raise your hand against school staff? He can do it, you know. In self-defense, that is. Article 17, item H. Ah, so, I really can? Heh <laughs> Otto, let them duke it out. Let's get out of here. Uh, 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 right. Let's beat it. Don't think you can run away from me. I'll track you down. Then it's all detention for you. Right after I deal with this. Oh, student. Eh. <laughs> that was some quick thinking. How'd you know all that? I used to be a monitor too. The squirrel rule bug was my bedtime story. Now I walk on the edge of the law and I like to keep tabs on other delinquents. Ah, do you really think Boris had nothing to do with the car wreckage? Listen, you have to <laughs> clear your name too, Otto. The school monitor is relentless. She won't let you off the hook. If you go to detention, you won't be able to compete in today's tournaments match. The team will lose by W.O. Defeated without even competing? I won't have that! It would definitely be an injustice. Earlier, you mentioned a letter that lured you to the rooftop? It probably has something to do with all this mess. I suggest we take it for forensic analysis. I'm pretty sure we can run an analysis on it at the lab. You heard the man? I'm coming too. Not that I have a problem with that, but uh, why exactly? I want to see this through. Personal reasons. Sounds hard-boiled. Welcome to the team, then. Oh, nice. Otto, just a heads up. My counter move works a bit differently. Let me show you what I mean. For my counter move, you'll have to hold B in advance, then release it to hit the ball. Let's practice a bit, okay? Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's definitely got a different feel to it. That was a great session. I think we're ready to move on. Otto, even if we got four players on our team now, only three can battle. Make sure to put your favorite players at the top of your team list using the team menu. Cool. We'll keep it as is for now. Um, We can go up this way, right? Yeah, yeah. Nope, not that way yet. I'm like looking at the mini map. And... There we go. Oh, if it's not test subject number seven. Great timing. The lineup is kind of crowded right now, and I've got some worrying news. I'd certainly like a little help here, but first, I'll have to scientifically make sure you're actually up to the task. Thank you. 
Nope, nope, nope. Ooh. Alright. I do not care for the timing of these. Otto is just like ripping her apart. <laughs> I mean, I learned shocking revelation. Your regular throw gets upgraded into shocking throw. Oh, nice. You're going, you all. You're scientifically approved. Come talk to me again if you'd like to help advance science. And let me, uh. Let me wake someone up real quick. There we go. Mm -hmm. Boom. All right, let me explain what I'm doing in my field work today. Some hours ago, the lab energy sensor started giving out some worrying readings. It looks like our newest prototype dodgeballs have been leaked, getting their signals from all over the forest. I can't go investigate myself because I'm the internet signal. Because the internet signal from the lab only reaches up to here, and I've got to keep my eye on all the readings. Can you find whoever has got our prototype dodgeballs and put a stop to this shameless industrial espionage? I think three sets of prototype dodgeballs have been stolen. Please search for them around the forest. Got it. Hmm. Wait, why is there... Well, fine. I'll behave from now on. Yeah, we already got you. Hmm. Alright, you know what? We'll, uh... Let me just come back to this one later on. Hey, Chester. Oh, uh, hello, Otto. Uh, hope you're not uh, sour about everything that happened yesterday. Oh, no, of course not. D to hold grudges is a sign of inferior intellect and an alignment which obviously doesn't affect me. Great. We need to have this letter analyzed. Sure. This storage bot here can process it for you. Dragebot, run the CA11 COP5 procedure. Sure, as butter on the eyes. Now we wait a bit. Nobody move a muscle! My Dragebot recorded the car's destruction and they're here to eliminate the evidence. Jester, what are you doing? We're busted! That's right, you're all going to detention. I thought this was just a phase you were going through, Sunco. But now I see you're up to the neck in Kappa's criminality. Isn't that right, sister? You two are sisters? Uh, that's common knowledge around here, Otto. They used to be one big monitor family. Oh. You're all a bunch of lousy gossipers, you know that? Enough! You're all coming with me this time. Sunko, I never expected that incident to change you this much. Maybe you should think a bit harder about what happened that day. How can you say something like that? Did you forget why that incident happened in the first place? Hold on, I need some time to digest this. 
Typical. Look, she's emotionally stunned. Let's get out of here. N not so fast. Get them, droids, bots. Uh, uh, from a course. Data log loaded, transferring HP to allied compute computation machines. Come on, give me the last one. Thank you. Bye. Oh, I still have them? I didn't notice. Boom. Victory. Oh, I should probably give Sunko some items. Okay, it's our chance. Let's run. I really need to revise their design, huh? But if I do that, will they come to get revenge on me later? I better write a document demanding my brain be preserved for the sake of humanity. All right, back to work. Wait, where did everyone go? That really didn't go as planned. Hey, what was that incident the school monitor was talking about? Chester sent you that letter. There's no mistaking it. Huh? You sure? Yes. He knew about the destroyed card even though he never saw the remains of the vehicle. And he was really quick to rat us on the school monitor. Can we use that in our defense? Not yet. Chester has probably been inside the lab the whole day. We need more proof. Like a confession from the letter forger. You know, I recall the lunch lady used to be a forger of documents. She'd supply students with fake notes written by their parents. N no wonder she's so scary. Time's pretty short. Let's go have a little talk with her. But I was curious about the incident. All right. Forgot. We need some equipment on you. Ooh. Forget that. There you go. That's what you need. And... Hmm. Give that to you, we'll give you, we'll give you the bandana glove combo. Cool. Oh, oh, guess we still can't go that way. Never mind. Okay, well, since we're going this way, Go ahead and fight this guy. I need a good battle to help me improve my skills. Steel. It's so good. Oh, what do you got? Come on, catch that. Not you catch it, me catch it. Fine. Mm -hmm. 
That didn't go according to plan. All right. Oh, he does not like that. Uh, let's go. There you go. Uh, yeah. Boom. Perfect. Oh, here we go. Wait. Aha! Hey! Check these out. There's state of the air dodgeballs. Ah. Uh. Oof. Jeez. Like, I have to get my timing right with these. Okay, okay, I know they haven't been released to the public yet. You can have them. Alrighty, well, that's one. Where's another one gonna be? Oops, that's right, you can't roll down that. have to imagine up here, right? Yep. Not so. These, they're regular dodgeballs. Want to see for yourself? Oh, these are ice balls. Okay. Auto cat. Oh, These dodge walls were so cool, I couldn't resist but battle with them. I mean, I guess, but no. Been over here yet? Okay. And so, where's the last person then? Where are you, last person? Where are you? So they were still in the woods. 
You know what? We'll worry about that later. Let's get free heals, and then we'll go, uh... We'll go and lunch the lady. Welcome to the infirmary. Alright. Lunch lady, here we come. Uh oh, not you again. Oh no, not you again. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm setting up shop here, Mina. Dad invested a heavy sum into my new business endeavor. We don't have time for this again, so bring on all you got. Counters. Alright, tag. Um, yeah, okay. Autolur's Blazing Tenacity. Your regular throw gets upgraded to a weak flaming throw. Brand new shoes. Ooh. You're ruining all my businesses. Excuse me, Pixie. May I have a word for a moment? I've had to deal with people in the past that caused trouble for our good-willed school entrepreneurs. So perhaps I could come with you with this situation. Ha! Ah, you're so done for, Mina. Would you kindly show me a copy of your business permit? The standard documentation document that regulates business on the school grounds, that is. Signed by two witnesses and the principal, nonetheless. I think you need to check if everything's in order first. My, uh, uh, what? Dad never said a word about that. Oh, was that so? I'm sorry. But that is unacceptable. But if we're up, but if it was up to me, I'd just let you go with a warning. But since my sister is who's in charge these days, I strongly recommend you to erase any traces of this activity as soon as possible. If I don't, you, you can't. Ah. Uh, I cannot soil my family's name with this. What would father think? Everyone's contracts are now void. Pack up everything. I want everyone this out this second. That was so cool, Sunko. You make a great dodgeball lawyer. I'm sure this won't be the last business Pixie will set up. Anyway, we have a case to solve. Come on. And we're good with the 94 health. Hey, have you kids ever considered how I have the power to decide whether your hunger gets curved or not? Look, we know you forced this letter. Letter? <laughs> My hands are too tired from kneading dough for such things. I'll need your heads if you keep pestering me. Uh, um, let's leave her be. Look. You can play nice and tell us what we need to know. Or what? I'll buy all the snacks here. Oh, I'm shaking. And I'll pay with change. You wouldn't dare. Try me, old bag. You're playing with fire here. Listen up, my loyal customers. Free snacks to whomever trashes these fools. Wow, that's lower than a stink's belly. How do you think I managed to raise such prestigious position? Ooh. Ah! Get some! They're all weak. <laughs> Let me 
you learn Refreshing Wave. Your bold sun move last gets larger and now heals status effects. Yeah, all right. Ah, that's it. I'm giving these kids more protein starting today. Ready to confess? My purse is so heavy with all these pennies. I may have forged that letter, but you won't get my client's name even if you break a piggy bank in front of me. Fine. Thanks for the help, I guess. All right, we won't get anything else from her. Let's go talk outside. We've got no leads on that client of hers. Maybe we should look for unlikely allies. Like who? We've already tried pretty much everyone. There's another person who's been incriminated. Boris? You'd ask him for help? I'd rather not. But there's little choice. We either confer with him or run the risk of letting more injustices happen. So how do we find him? He's never too far away from Vampy. She usually plays by the deep woods, so we could take up how to look there. Did I just really help us find Boris of all people? What's wrong with me? By the way, that was really cool, Otto. Facing that challenge at the cafeteria like that? I've seen the lunch lady pull the, that stuff before. It usually ends up in an ugly mess of elbows and pastries. All in a day's work. By the way, that incident of yours. To the deep wood, King! Oh, come on! Back to the woods. Oh, I wonder. If we get Boris on the team, maybe he can move the freaking logs. Maybe that's something that'll happen. That'd be nice. So many fish approaching. So many feet approaching. Whoa. We're here looking for ghosts. Have you come looking too? Um, again with this story about a ghost? I. This forlorn spirit will help me find me grandfather. Uh, sure. Yeah. Uh, look, Vampy. We don't have time for ghost stories right now. We're trying to find your brother. I'm not telling you where he is. He asked me to take it a secret, and... Ugh. We come this far for fresh air, but the trash is all the way out here. Fine. I'll tell you if you defeat those guys. I don't like getting interrupted. What? You guys up for a match? <laughs> You're digging your own grave here, Otto. Oh, that's right. He does that. All right. Balloony, we need we need heals. Come on. Nice. One more good one. 
Got him. Ah, the time is so weird. One HP. Oh, you guys are getting better. I'll tell you what's getting better. So, Vampy, where'd your big grow? He's heading the principal's office. What? That's the last bit I think to look for him. Vampy, don't you know that you're betraying your brother's trust? Yeah, but I know he's all, he's able to completely demolish y'all if he needs to, so it's all right. You kid. Trust, huh? You may be leading me on a merry chase, but it's over now. No earthly force will keep me from deterring you all. But all we did was take a beating. Who's ready to get smiling? It's the ghost! Run for your mortal souls! I think uh, we lost the school monitor and all that chaos. Good. Yeah, we know where Boris is now. Let's go find him. Otto, wait. There's something I have to tell you. Is it finally about the incident? Uh, yes. Aw, oh, yeah. Er, I mean... My sister and I got into an argument one day, a heated one. Things got out of hand and I nailed her in the face with a dodgeball. I landed a pretty good hit, then it knocked right back into my face. Hence the eye patch. Oh, by the way, that eye patch is still metal. Of course, I'll be taking it off next week at the uh, ophthalmologist. Not so metal anymore. Well, that's basically why I didn't want to tell you. It destroys the whole tough image that I'm trying to build. I'm glad you ended up telling us. And don't worry. I know you are tough with or without an eye patch. This is getting too mellow. Let's we'll just go find Boris. Right. Uh, to the principal's office. But first to the infirmary. We need the heals. And I don't like wasting items. go. Okay, to the principal's office. Here he is. We need to talk, Boris. You love them here, Sunko? I'm only asking so I can decide who to atomize first. We need to get this situation sorted out. You know neither of us trashed the car. Do I look like I care? Ah, so many stairs. I found you again. I'm definitely expecting a big promotion after all this running around. Look, Boris, do you want to her tailing you at all times? You can help us clear your name, or keep running forever. <laughs> Let her come, I don't care at all. Alright then, you folks are coming with me. Wait. We can get a confession from Chester at the tournament. So you mean, we're facing his team today? Oh, right. I guess you didn't get to see the tournament brackets. That's probably the reason he's been trying to get you. My mind is blown. So, you're proposing a bargain, Sinenko? What do I get in exchange for leniency? I'll turn myself in for the time being. What? And you'll let me go once we're proven innocent. Are you sure about this? Going to the detention? Oh, don't get all bright-eyed over this new kid. 
You'll pay for this later. Otto, why are you always attracting trouble? We have a new room in detention for super-powered bullies like Boris. But this deal is not good enough yet. Fine. Give us a chance to prove Otto's innocence and I'll rejoin the Monitor Force. Whoa. Now you piqued my interest. Okay, you're free to attend the tournament, Otto. Don't squander this chance. R right. Come, Boris. It's time. I'll be taking it. Walking out every second I spend in detention on you. I'll be taking out every second I spend in detention on you later, new kid. And how many seconds will he stay there? So, are we making Chester confess? Yeah, he'll never admit it. I have investigated Chester for quite some time. Really? Chester? If you keep an eye on everyone, you'll never get caught off guard. That's my motto. Deep. I'm pretty sure we can make him confess for it all for himself. We have to target his ego. Doesn't sound very hard. The under... Under Dodgers and the Super Brains must attend today's match at the Dome. Oh, right, on time. Let's get to the Dome and sort this once and for all. Downstairs, downstairs. That's right. Welcome, dear students, to the next match in this year's academic tournament. I'm eager to see today's fine display of abilities you've acquired at our fine institution and not anywhere else. Today's match will be... The Under Dodgers. Versus... The Super Brains. What? How come you're here? We have a match to play. Where do you think we'd be? In detention, by chance? Oh, well, uh... What are you, being a dum-dum? Me? A dum-dum? Me? Heh! <laughs> that's a good one. Me. A big dum-dum. <laughs> okay, everyone. That's enough on friendly name-calling. Yes, yes. Let the match begin! with that ball pattern. Oh, already? What are you doing? Nope, nope, ooh. The flurry. There's no way you can catch all that. Looney, tag out, tag in, Looney. Here we go. That's right, this one's easy. Here we go. 
Why is it? Hmm. Shoot, already? Oh no. Yeah. All right, Otto. We gotta do some damage. We need the life steal. Darn it. Your students are like fine artists on the courts. Most impressive display of skill. This is a win by the Underdodgers. That was a great match. Congratulations, team. Hmm. Hey, he's not angry enough yet. I can feel the school monitor's burning clearly gaze on my neck. You know, it's a good thing we face you, smarty pants. Huh? Why do you say? Huh? Why do you say that? Because you actually have good tactics. We were afraid you might send out those trashy robots to play instead. Oh, right. Even I could take those robots. Pfft. Grr. Oh, yeah. Who's afraid of those walkie toasters, am I right? Grr. What are they saying this stuff for? I don't know. Just pretend you understand. Imagine the big dum-dum who came up with such a flawed design. That's it. I'll have you bird brains know that the average George Ott model is capable of more than 10 pitted dodges of muting powder. They've got thermodynamic spring work to ensure maximum throwing power, chassis made out of a special dodginium alloy I developed myself, eyes sporting even 20 MP lenses each, and, and, <laughs> And the knuckles, knuckles especially devised for breaking metallic structures. They were even strong enough to wreck that stupid car. Now the cat's out of the bag. You're coming with me, mister. Uh, what? Where to? Detention, obviously. No way! George Bots, protect your master. The master shall be kept in a protective eggshell like the children of an elephant. A 
What? Wait, wait, wait a second. My car got wrecked by whom now? I guess they really were weak robots. No. Hey, Naomi, Dixie, help me out. Come on. Help you out? You made a mockery of our team. Trash the robots you spent our budget to build. And now you want help? Um, yeah, that's what I said, yes. I guess you're out of the team, Chester. Come on. I have a new place just waiting for you. Can you watch him outside for me? Just for a little bit? Of course. It'd be my pleasure. Come on, let's move. Well. As for you, Sun and Co. I'm staying with the under dodgers. What? That's not what we agreed on. You can't expect all of your negotiations to go your way when you're dealing with less than savory types like myself. Don't you agree, sister? Oh, right, putting it up that tough image again. And you, Otto, don't even think about Refusing me. I won't have that. Didn't even cross my mind. Yeah, team, let's go! I'd better return to my job. Time to go release Boris. Oh, yeah. Boris will be back. How many seconds was that again? Well, let's worry about that some other time. I'm beat. I say everyone could use some rest back at our dorm now. Yep, I have to agree. Okay. You know what? I think we'll just skip this side quest. I'm not... I'm not worrying about it. We're already pretty, pretty good and leveled. Okay. And with that, we'll call this here. Oh, just kidding. Today we had a great match. And we're glad to have you on the team. Uh, have you, Sunco? It's nice being a part of, part of something again. That's great to hear. All right, see you tomorrow. Good night. Have a good night too, Mina. Hey, Pixie. What's our score now? 101 to 99. Someone's got some catching up to do. Congratulations, Mina. I'm happy to have such a skilled rival. Hey, this is what sports manga is about, right? <laughs> Classic. Alright, cool. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.